and he kept his mind and senses under control. Furthermore, he was always truthful. He knew how to chant the Vedic mantras, and he was also very pure. Ajamil was very respectful to his spiritual master. Indeed, he was free from false prestige. He was upright, benevolent to all living entities, and well-behaved. He would never speak nonsense or envy anyone. Once, this Brahmana Ajamil, following the order of his father, went to the forest to collect wood for a sacrificial fire. These are nice. Now, what else have you brought me? 
Only some news. Yes? My father's dead. So what? He left me an inheritance. Oh. This is news. Yes. It will all be spent for your pleasure. Oh, you're so flattering. Don't be flattered. Just be pleased with me. In time, Ajamil became addicted to forbidden acts in order to satisfy the prostitutes' lusty desires and to maintain their many children. He had eight children with her, and because of past good impressions, he named his youngest and favorite Narayan. Gambling and cheating, he thus allowed his life to speed by until his 88th year. Come on, big friend. Sit down here. Thank you, Ashmeel. There you go. So, you want to bet? Play some dice? Feel lucky today? Yes, I do. I'll play with you. Good. How much money would you like to bet this time? Thank you. 
of our master, Lord Yamarat. You may not touch this sinless man. This man, Ajamil, has not undergone atonement for his sins. Therefore, we must drag him to our Lord Yamarat. And there, according to the extent of his sinful activities, he will be punished. <laughs> to engage in the devotional service. 
fall again into the deep, dark well of material life. I will go to hard war and try to become Krishna conscious. I will become Krishna conscious. <sighs> When the servants of Yamaraj were baffled and defeated by the Vishnu Dudas, they fled to their master in a bewildered state. Being filled with anger and disappointment, they addressed their lord and master, the lord of death. Because of our ignorance, we failed to see 
Ajmil as your devotee. And thus, we have committed a great offense. My dear Lord, we stand before you with folded hands. Please forgive us. You are very merciful and filled with all good qualities. We bow down at your lotus feet. After hearing from the mouth of their master about the extraordinary glories of the Lord and his holy name, the Yamadudas were struck with wonder. Since then, as soon as they see a devotee, they fear him and dare not look at him again. Because of a moment's association with the Vishnu Dudas, Ajamio gave up all material attachment and went to Hardwar. There he took shelter in a temple of Lord Vishnu and he began to execute the process of Bhakti Yoga. Ajamil controlled his senses and fully applied his mind to the service of the Lord. When his intelligence and mind were fixed upon the form of the Lord, the Brahmana Ajamil once again saw before him four celestial persons. He could understand that they were those he had seen previously, and thus he offered his obeisances by bowing down before them. Upon seeing the Vishnu Dudas, Ajamil gave up his material body and regained his original spiritual body. Accompanied by the order carriers of Lord Vishnu, Ajamil boarded an airplane made of gold. Passing through the airways, he went directly to the boat of Lord Narayan, the husband of the goddess of fortune. Because this very confidential historical narration has the potency to vanquish all sinful reaction, one who hears or describes it with faith and devotion is no longer doomed to hellish life, regardless of his having a material body and regardless of how sinful he may have been after giving up his body, he returns back home, back to Godhead.
players played very good role by not being blessed. That is follow. That one kind, one name, even can destroy all these things. That you, whole life you can have. But don't have doubt. Don't have doubt. Don't do any offense. Ajamit was very big sinner. He did so, so many sins. Gambling, taking wine and cheating others, murdering. So much. He left his chest, wife, father, mother, children. But even he took one name. He never did any offense to any wish. That is why when name or sufficient form. This was not nam, name, but it was Namabhas. When he did Namabhas, he took the name of his Narayan son, for his son. This is Namabhas, not name for Krishna, for Narayan. So it was Namabhas. But Namabhas, who oh, received from his death, he heard all these things. The dialect, dialect between Jamdut and Krishna. And he realized, oh, one even name, not your name, Namavas. I took it for my son. And it said to me, now, why it became? Oh, by Sadhu Sangha. Where Sadhu? For Krishna Guru. Where Sadhu? And they, Initiated it by that man. That name. One name, even Namahas has said, you, so you should try to do your name. He wanted to speak something and to touch their feet. Uh, at once they initiated it. But when he came to her bath and took bath in Ganges daily, and doing bhajan sadhan narayan 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 om bhagavate like that narayan and after that some time oh full pure rain came into mouth at once he was liberated he left his body and at once four dhuta again came and he, they told that he, now you are qualified to go to Vaikuntha. He told, I want some question to solve my question. You should give At first time, hearing your dialect, I wanted to touch your feet, but you disappear. And now you are coming to take it, Narayan Vaikunt. Oh, they told that. At that time you are not pure. Your body was not transcendental. Now you are all kinds of sin, uh, even anath has come. Now you are purified. Now you can come. And they took him. By one pure name, anyone can go to Narayana. Now. Even but it is not sufficient to go to Guru Vrindavan. No. You will have to start gopis or any of the Prajavasi. So much. And then, very difficult to go there. Easy there. But one name is even not very easy. That. So try to first follow Ajami. Don't do sins. But charm, name of God. More better you should follow Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and try to follow Goswami's Prabhunath Goswami. And very easily by chanting, doing Kirtan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. The fourth group told, uh, jump told to 
examine. Don't go to a place where Hari Kirtan is going on. Don't touch a person who has taken magics and chanting. Don't. Those who have once did pr pranam to Thakuji, don't go there. When he is worshipping, don't go there. Those who have taken in bath in Ganges, Jamuna, and chanting, don't go in that area. Be hundred miles, thousand miles away from that place. So you should know. Those who are Serving Tulsi, don't go there. So you should have a very strong faith in these things. And follow this Siddhant and do that. I may do one request to Siddham Prabhu that he should play the drama of Prahlad Maharaj. Though time is very short. But yet you can. On Sunday you should play. Last day. Oh, yeah. If you are players, you should come, I will give sweets. Oh, yeah. I will give them ten to any other. Anyone should not come before them. They should wait. All should wait. One announcement, um, Jagmohan Prabhu has asked me to uh, ask those who have not paid their festival fees to please approach either Govindadasi or himself to pay for the fees. We see that a job mill, it started out with something small, like not paying your festival fees and it just, <laughs> just snowballed into what we see there. So we just have to be very, very cautious in our dealings. So. Um, Make sure you pay your festival fees, or a few years down the line, you can find yourself in the same position as Jama. This is not to scare you. This is just to tell you we know who you are. We can tell how the way you walk down the halls, the way you try to avoid those in charge of the festival, the way you avoid eye contact. All of these things together, we can see that those people are not paying the festival fees, and um, we're not happy with that. <laughs> Yeah. 